Gala share the boots. Everybody wanna The track, Reggae Blues, became an instant hit within the Nigerian music sphere, so much so that it crossed into some international music scenes. The man behind the atonal music, Harrison Tare Okiri, popularly known as Harry Song, or simply as Mr. Song, confesses that the track catapulted him to yet another level of stardom. Twenty sixteen has been has been uh, challenging, fruitful, um, uh, amazing also because we've achieved um, quite a lot. Twenty sixteen. I think this is the year we did we did the uh, yeah, one delta yes. one delta successful. We did that. Then I went for my tour. I just got back from my American tour. I did three major shows, you know, in America. The one in Dallas, the one in Houston, and in Maryland. The one music first was was a old eye opening for me because I saw that massive crowd responding to 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 not just the songs but at the sound of the name Harry Song the brand is 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 the, the welcoming and the love was just amazing. So I saw a real new phase of of Harry Song. You know, so uh, I just go back now and I've been trying to to see what we can dish out the next the next two months that we have. You know, uh, being a content provider, being a writer, I I try as much as I can to check it and upgrade and see what's going on. You know, I don't just put out songs. I, I check what's going on and try to see, okay, where can I target? Where, where is the market going now? Where's the movement? If I can change it, I change it. If I don't want to change it, I play along to still make the difference. There's something about you, I just can't see. Yeah. Ah. Money. Hey. Feeling in my heart, it bust my brain. Hey. Baby, oh, tell me what you say. Yeah, yeah. I declare, I declare, I declare, what again. Harry Song was born as the only child to withdraw parents in Wari Delta State. After the death of his mother, a strained relationship between him and his stepmother led to him dropping out of school and his involvement with music grew after moving to Port Hackett. As his career continues to grow, he took a couple of his colleagues back to his home state for a peace concert. I was supposed to drop my album and go for the tour that I just uh, got back from, but we're having issues with um, the Alaja Anubijo crisis as at that time. Um, my grandma is in uh, Ubijo, my place where I'm from, you know, so they were fighting and because of the land, they were, they were fighting and they were killing people. You know, so I went there, I got the link, they caught my attention and I got there to try to, to intervene and we... Uh, we succeeded in trying to calm the whole situation down, but you know, we, 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 my, the, the governor has been on this matter for a very long time. The governor was there, uh, we has the military people trying to sort the whole thing down. So I thought about it as a voice of the place to put a peace concert, a reorientation. That's why we had programs before the concert, before that day. We had reorientation programs for the youth, we have to create offices for the young people, people that are also talented and wanted to sing and do some other things. We created platforms for them. Then we had the grand finale. For uh, for all the artists that have been doing all the works till that very day in Asaba, which is the headquarters, and the state came out to show that support. So it was the aim was just to 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 give them another phase of the the Niger Delta race that is not just about fighting and about war, but we also we can also create a peaceful atmosphere where people can come and have fun and um, also pass out the right message. Before the track Reggae Blues, Harry Song already attained a level of success as the artist was bold enough to flip the script and record songs that are a little discordant as seen in the track Beta Pekin. Although his debut album, Testify, released under the question mark imprint struggled commercially, 
His next project is currently preceded by a significant level of anticipation. Such is the strength of his brand now. Um, over the years, the brand has sung as we, we've been trying to develop and improve on the sound and put the message. If you've been following, if you've been following the sound from I'm in love, from I'm in love coming to Ofeche to Better Peking to Reggae Blues to Baba for the Girls, you see the way we are just we are just changing and changing and progressing and progressing, and it's affecting it's affecting the sound same way it's affecting the message. Same way is affecting the message. We're saying we're saying almost the same thing, but different direction. Trying to reach out to different other things. So I think for the, for the songs that we have already, that different genre of songs, different messages, then some new sounds put together. I like to try new things. I like to I like to shake the I like to shake the sounds a little bit because sometimes when we do those researches for new tones, new softwares, when you get different inspiration and some I I think. I think we've not we've not missed it so far, yeah. Because from reggae blues it was a new sound. We got it, we got it. And, and to Baba for the girls, I think we're guessing it. So we'll, we'll get some new things also on the album. The album is ready. Um, we were supposed to drop the album this this year, but because of the other programs that we're having, so we, to, we put a pause to it. The old team, five star music, everybody, they, it's ready. They, they mixed, they mastered already. I think the first quarter of next year, the album will drop. The Harry Song project blew into mainstream success on the platform of KC's Five Star Music imprint, with both sharing strong friendship. But in recent times, reports are rife that maybe all isn't well in paradise, and Harry Song could move away from the label. Um, I am Harry Song. Five Star Music. Is, I've, I've said it every every time. I've said it several times. Five Star Music is home. Do you understand? We are we are cool. We are together. You know. If, if my contract finishes, I'm, I, I'm leaving Five Star, I should be leaving Five Star, maybe to, Five Star should be launching something new for me. Do you understand? I mean, that's what I feel. You know, Five Star should be launching something for me. I'm, I'm big enough, I have other companies that I'm, that, that I'm working with. I have my own different other companies and the businesses that I'm doing, besides uh, being signed to Five Star and doing music. Do you understand? I'm also a businessman. So, Leaving Five Star to another company, I'm not. I don't. I'm not seeing that coming. You know, after the, maybe the contract finishes, Five Star should be maybe opening something else or launching something else for me to be able to stand on my own and be strong to push still the music on this part of it. Why I do my other businesses right now? Five Star is my international, my local, my everything. I'm not working towards what uh, going to get any deal outside outside uh, Nigeria. No, that's not that's not my aim. I am blessed, satisfied. I'm okay here. Up next, let's take a look at those stories making the rounds. Please stay here.